approach. And, um, and I, it's why I'm very optimistic, because these challenges are touching the population, the people. They are the ones suffering by working with the governments and the institutions. We are serving the people, and things, we see things improving. Even in the other hand, we see more and more challenges in the region. And that's why we invest a lot, and we are working a lot with our G5 Sahel friends and the countries uh, uh, part of the G5 uh, Sahel region, uh, because these are their problems, and we are here to support them. But at the end of the day, they are the ones who have to address those issues. Used to moderate severe pain and to get high. 
less stigmatized than heroin or other illegal drugs, tramadol as a prescription medication can be accessed and transported more easily, according to Adam Winstock, a consultant psychiatrist and addiction medicine specialist in London and director of the Global Drug Survey. At the end of last year, UN officials and security experts warned that the illegal trade and growing abuse of tramadol at destabilizing parts of West Africa, especially in the Sahel region where it is filled in terror groups and providing revenues for them to carry out attacks. In a statement, the head of the UN Office on Drugs and Crime, Pierre Lapac, said the problem is serious and worrying and needs to be addressed as soon as possible. And that's all we have time for today. My name is Festos Tarawali, and do join me again at the same time next week. This is the Africa Service of Vatican Radio, and remember to join us again at the same time tomorrow. Praised be Jesus Christ. Laudetur Jesus Christus.